Flowers are everywhere, hundreds of thousands of species. So, it's no surprise humans have been depicting them in art since the dawn of civilization. Think of the stylized acanthus leaves in Greco-Roman architecture, but flowers have been painted for their symbolism too. In Renaissance art, white flowers symbolize purity, while red represents the blood of Christ. Poppies symbolize sleep or death, like in this 15th century painting by Bartolome Bermejo, where poppies grow beneath St. Michael. The rose is famous for symbolizing love, but in the Victorian era, honeysuckle held the same meaning as seen in this painting by Dante Gabriel Rossetti. In Japan, cherry blossoms or sakura represent life's transience, what the Japanese call mono no aware, the beauty in impermanence. Flowers also became national symbols, the lotus for India, the thistle for Scotland, and the fleur de lis for France. But flowers aren't just symbols. Albrecht Dürer painted them for their sheer beauty, and Georgia O'Keeffe transformed them into vibrant, abstract worlds. In the 17th century, Dutch artists painted flowers for both art and commerce, while Islamic and medieval art turned them into intricate patterns. Whether as symbols, patterns, or objects of beauty, flowers have always been a central theme in art, reminding us to pause and appreciate their timeless charm. Want to learn more about art, history, and culture? Subscribe to Be Uncultured and stay curious. Thanks for watching.